Clear prop. Grumman Pilots YouTube channel directly supporting Grumman Pilots Association and this morning we want to look at what makes up your brakes and for most of our four place airplanes we have the Cleveland 3055 Bravo caliper now this caliper is fully fleshed out you have the anchor pins these are what the uh, anchor posts some people call them these are what your floating plate slides on there's the bleed valve and the b-nut on the end and then the uh, flare to a 1 8 inch NPT adapter which connects to your brake line. In addition to the caliper you have what's called the foot, well you have the puck and this actually goes inside the caliper. We're not going to put this one in because it's a new one with a new o-ring. We don't have any fluid in there so we'd want to have fluid before we reassembled it all. On top of that we have the floating plate which the caliper pushes. Put that on there caliper pushes that against the anchor plate or pressure plate which is held in by two A and four bolts that come all the way through and that is what makes up our brake system now the A and four bolts they're A and four dash seventeens they go all the way through the caliper and capture the pressure plate and then this all captures the disc in here and the side and when you caliper forces, it forces pressure against both sides of the brake pads, and that's what stops your airplane. So just a real quick look at the different pieces. Uh, we have a customer who needs some new calipers. His have gotten very corroded. We've taken a look at all of ours and bead blasted them, and there's a little bit of corrosion in here, which would cause a leak. So we're sending him two new Cleveland calipers. Um, take care of yours. Um, bead blast them, then prime them, then paint them make them last a lot longer. So, we hope you found this useful. Thanks again for watching and have a good day flying your Grumman.